in this module we are going to talk about emergence of a single world market the single global market is characterized by following characteristics most of the trade barriers are removed common policies on product regulation in different countries international flow of capital international migration of workers and professionals now question arises here that when the west talk about emergence of a global international market a single world market how it is possible when there is lot of there are lot of unevenness going on in the global community where developed world is highly technologically sophisticated and scientifically advanced as compared to the developing world is it possible to have in such environment a single world market that is a million dollar question single world market provides greater commercial opportunities unit costs are lowered global suppliers and consumers access to market becomes easier exchange of business ideas at global level yes it is going on but favoring more to the developed world or to the countries which are making more and more consumer product like china almost 95% of the world toys are made by china more than 50% world refrigerators are made by china more than 70% microwave ovens are made by china so you can imagine the countries which are producing more consumer products they will definitely get benefit out of this single world market but what about the countries which are unable to produce such consumer products at such number that could meet the requirement of the global market many researchers claim that international migration of workers is not as great as it is portrayed by the advocates of globalization integrated economy poses greater risks to the domestic economies major benefits are extracted by the western world because workers from the developing world are facing bureaucratic glitches and visa implications there are many restrictions upon the workers who are living in developing world but the people from the developed world or western world can go in any part of the world at large and there are less restrictions upon them almost no restrictions i would say it is not a win win situation many businesses still face barriers economic sanctions are applied by the hegemonic states and international organizations exploitation through structural adjustment programs is already underway through international financial institutions and world trade organizations formation of monopolies lead to the failure of global market tussle of great powers united states and china influence the global economic growth states are rational actors they prefer national interests over global ones therefore integrated economies has risks this this is what i initially made a point that in such uneven world how can we perceive that single world market where national interests are promoted instead of mutual interests so in such environment it seems very unrealistic and idealistic approach that there we we can have a single world market 